Bobby Pierce is back. I'm Lauren Thomas and the reopening of a beloved neighborhood gathering space is what's happening in the city of Greenville this week. Three, two, one, cut. The Bobby Pierce Community Center in the North Main neighborhood was damaged by a downed tree in 2018. Neighbors, city leaders, recreation staff, and summer campers celebrated with a ribbon cutting and tree planting. Neighborhood Association presidents gathered for their quarterly meeting for updates on city initiatives, including our Neighborhood Slow Zone campaign. New signs will help encourage drivers to reduce their speed in areas where families are at play. Greenville firefighters began their summer program for teens. The Explorers program will prepare young people for a career in public safety and earn them a Firefighter 2 certification. GCFD is reaching out to the community through various presentations and meetings, including Christchurch School Safety Presentation, David Hellam's Summer Camp Safety Talk, and a meeting at Stone Lake Neighborhood. GPD Community Outreach Officer Rachel Hall visited the Pleasant Valley Connection Summer Camp to talk to campers about law enforcement. She was joined by Officer Ryan Weeks and K-9 Leo. Keeper of the Quarry. Town Magazine highlights the story of the landscaping legend behind Greenville's Rock Quarry Garden and City of Greenville's Beautification District Supervisor, Joey West. Planning for Responsible Growth. On Tuesday evening, the City of Greenville hosted a drop-in style meeting for local residents and community stakeholders to connect and comment on the vision for the future development of the West End. Coming to Camperdown, Jenny's Splendid Ice Creams. Owner Jenny Britton fell in love with the city at first sight for its unique culture, energy, and entrepreneurial spirit and we can't wait for her to join our community. Next Venture Pitch is back. We're seeking Carolina entrepreneurs to pitch their ideas in a Shark Tank style competition. The deadline to apply is August 15th. Greenlink is proud to partner with Pendleton Place to provide safety and shelter to teens in crisis through the Safe Place program. Greenlink buses will soon have this yellow sign on them, letting teens know that they can ask for help and be connected to a Pendleton Place representative. Voting in the Alligator Naming Contest is now open. The top five names submitted by zoo guests are Andre, Big Al, Duke, Irwin, and Rocky. Votes will be accepted online with a donation of any amount. The Art of Balance, a mural inspired by the work of artist Henri Matisse, was completed outside of the Children's Museum of the Upstate by artist Adam Schrimmer and Art Adventures Campers. The City of Greenville has set aside home grant funds for Habitat for Humanity to develop seven affordable units along Jenkins Street. The City is proud to continue our partnerships in affordable and workforce housing developments. I'm Lauren Thomas for the City of Greenville.